Christmas. Sounds promising, right? Well, think again. This 2002 horror action crime drama movie is a Danish movie by a Chilean director that takes place in the US. I couldn't make this more confusing if I wanted to. It's about a guy called Carlitos who just got released from prison and now tries to redeem himself. But after a night of drugs and booze with his shifty friend Mike, he kills a prostitute. The next morning he doesn't remember anything about it and he panics. But Mike tells him everything is going to be fine and he'll take care of it. Carlitos gets more and more paranoia and then, out of the blue, demons show up. After a fucking hour in! This is just a stupid movie. It tries to mix horror with crime and action, but it doesn't work. At all. If you're expecting something like From Dusk Till Dawn, you'll be very disappointed. The camera work looks all grainy and the acting is among the worst I've ever seen. Hey, it's Carlitos. Remember me, asshole? Hello, boys. Uh. Are you ready to play? <laughs> <laughs> yeah! This is like Paris Hilton bad. Although, she was quite convincing in that One Night in Paris movie. The first hour is outright boring and you don't give a shit about what's going to happen to the characters. There is some character development, like Carlitos trying to stay out of trouble and wanting to be a better father for his kid, but it's not elaborated enough to really care about him. When the demons show up, I got a little more into the movie, but that's just because they were demons, and demons make everything at least more interesting. They look kinda okay, for a movie of this caliber I mean, but the effects are ridiculous. Speaking of bad effects, check out this awful green screen effect. That effect I used in my top 10 European horror movies was more convincing than this. Other than that, this movie just takes stuff from other movies. For example, it tries way too hard to mimic Scarface. I'm so hungry I could eat a horse! Man, we call you a horse, Carnalito! Yeah? Fucking kill you! You cockroach! Like, why? Also, don't you think an ex-con called Carlito sounds a little familiar? Yeah, I wonder why. And at one point, they completely stop giving a fuck and shamelessly steal the theme song from The Shining. What you're thinking, what does all of this have to do with Christmas? Well, nothing really. It just happens to take place during the holiday season. It might as well be called One Hell of a Easter or One Hell of a St. Patrick's Day. There are some Christmas trees, presents and Christmas carols, but there's not even snow. Here in Holland we rarely have snow on Christmas, so if I can't get snow in real life, I demand it to be in Christmas movies. Let that be a lesson. So yeah, it's fair to say that I'm not a fan of this movie. I watched it once, then gave it another quick look for the review, and that's probably the last time I've ever touched it. One hell of a Christmas is one hell of a bad movie. <laughs>